Hello everybody, Holifer from the future here. Um, this is all, all pretty much all done and dusted. We're fishing here, that's what we're talking about in this video. I'm sorry, it's a little bit of a confusing video. Uh, my head is all over the place at the moment, so the video was not really well flowing at all. Uh, sorry for that. Also, I just want to say, um, uh, it's so incredible seeing the difference now in this whole thing um, compared to the old dirt setup. When I had the old setup, I was like, am I just going to rebuild everything or what am I going to do? Um, and then Wakushi, I talked with Wakushi and he was like, you should, you should make like three sections, three islands. And basically from there I talked with Ryan and from there all of this happened. I went to Ant Antics and saw how he had made his water section and his islands as well. That was also really inspiring. So yeah, Ant Antics inspired me. I want water. Wakushi was like, you, why don't you make like some islands? And Ryan had the brain to say how you make the islands. So thanks to uh, Ant Antics. Makushi and Ryan for making uh, all of this happen and uh, yeah enjoy the video which is a little bit confusing. Hello everybody and welcome to the second video of my massive paludalium. Paludalium? Ecosystem, the massive ecosystem and it's literally been 10 minutes since the last video ended but I'm already moving the ants in. Why? Well quite simply because um, they have crossed the escape prevention uh, especially the singularities here. They've just gone over the escape bridge and like nobody's business. And therefore I thought, you know what, let me just put this box in here. I've still decided to give them a little little way out uh, in case the queen wants a little help. Uh, but yeah, they're now fully out exploring. So um, yeah, checking out the new environment, checking what's happening around. And uh, yeah, they are busy as always. And so far we are not coming into the other islands. I mean, they're they're not... They are allowed to come into the other islands, but I actually don't know if they're able to at this stage. Um, I don't know. Is this... I, I don't actually know. I don't even know if it's actually touching in the back. They may actually be... Nah. Nah, right there. This stick here is touching. So they are able, they are able to come off the island if they want to. Um, but it's, it's... I gave them this island because they can live in this top one, which will be further up, closer to the heat. Also... Heat from the light, of course. Also, this is the, it's, this is the heat system that's heating the entire setup. And um, that means right here will be way more hot than over here. And over here we have the Manica. And uh, the Manica are also, they have been escaping um, out of the box here. So that's why I've decided to give, just move them in now. You can see that's very quiet in here. Absolutely way too quiet, to be honest. Um, but yeah, they are also allowed to go out if they want to. Uh, I saw like 5-10 workers going around in there, in, in my setup, and uh, yeah, that was not good. So um, yeah, I've, I've given the allowance to come out, but so far it's only the single layers, but oh boy, single layers are exploring in a, in a great, great manner. A uh, ton of workers are exploring. I'm not going to force them more than this in the beginning, uh, because to be honest, it doesn't matter. I just want to put them in here, so... So they're not escaping and it's easy to maintain and clean. So, I mean, I'm not in a hurry to, to move them or anything. I will at one point start to pressure them a little bit, but I don't know how I'm going to do that yet. And I'm not too fussed or bothered uh, because it doesn't really matter right now. So, you know, we have this devil's crab here we've had for a long time. I've decided to buy some small babies here of vampire crabs or a different. I mean, they're probably close to the same species, but they're, yeah, they are yellow eyes and blue clawed or yeah purple clawed and uh yeah my man here's about to travel into the river and my phone doesn't know what fence sense to lose what lens to lose that's what i'm trying to say but uh we're having the first little water peak here oh hello bro how are you doing some floaty floaty plants popping around you here uh, starting to have a a lot of different life in here just added a ton of small plants. I'm no plant expert at all. Uh, but yeah, we have a few plants now popping in as well. And we have all of this over here, which I was told is good to leave here uh, because there's a lot of good materials in this. That's good for the water to get through. So I've put it near the filter, so the filter will suck it up. The filter's right there. All right, so past Holifer or future Holifer will be able to tell what we're seeing here. Uh, but basically the Singularis Queen is on the move and she's moving in is what I wanted to say, but she's actually, well, moving out. She's been out on a walk. Um, yeah, I came home today to see her sitting up here. I'm like, nope, that's not where you belong. So put her over here on this island and uh, 
yeah, the colony seems to have understood that something is wrong and they all went crazy a second ago to go out and pick her up. Uh, but I think she's uh, settling down right there. At least I can't see her anymore and I could see her just a second ago. So uh, you can see, no, that's not her. She's right around this corner. But I'm keeping a close eye because we don't want her to fall in the water. All right, my, uh, my work colleague had some uh, good old water I could get, which is good for... Um, when you're introducing, here we go. Now this is all submerged. Let me just speak a little bit better. Uh, my coworker had some water filled with the good nutrition, uh, which I've filled in here. And uh, he also had a few gobbies and a few small shrimps that we're now introducing. And uh, here we do not have the first one to leave. Uh, yeah, I'm starting with a very few fish because we need the ammonium levels to get high so we can get the nitrate level to get or nitro something to get up so we can get the other nitrate, whatever nitrate to go up. Uh, basically, there's a whole ton of things you need to do when you have fish, apparently. Um, and therefore, I'm starting with very few fish and a good bunch of his dirty water. Um, I'm trying to release them, but they're not too willing. So I think I need to give them a little push. All right, I'll help the rest of the fish out in a second. Um, but yeah, as you can see, we have some tiny goobies here. Well, not tiny, we have a few goobies here. Uh, some babies and some older ones. And there was also shrimp just popping in, which has already disappeared into the distance. Uh, but yeah, we have a few gobbies and goobies, gobbies coming right here. And uh, yeah, there's a few more shrimps that I also need to uh, probably give a little helping hand to actually come out. So um, the first water life have now been introduced, except we actually already had a little uh, snail right here, which joined the party when the plants joined, I believe, because that's when I spotted it for the first time. So yeah, a tiny group of fish here. Up a little, I don't know how many it was. It was like a five or something. Uh, so a good small little size to start uh, pooping and building up the ammonium level. Uh, I decided to go with this method because people online said both were all right. And with me adding a bunch of the dirty water filled with the good bacteria, I thought, you know what, let me go and uh, join the fish method as well. Some people are against it, some people are a fan of it. Uh, but yeah, there are also some tiny shrimps, but uh, yep, they are already gone. And uh, secondly, today I also extended the waterfall. Um, so I blocked off this filter section, uh, silicone a piece in here. And I've, still used, I've used a bunch of silicone to hopefully not get as much water coming down here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna wait 24 hours until it's dry. I'm gonna give it a very good ventilation overnight so we don't have any issues with that. Uh, but yeah, the waterfall has been extended slightly. Um, I've not gone for the exactly same design because this used foam and everything, um, but it's it's quite similar and I think it's it's decent. All right, so the current update is the filters over here. The filters are gonna be placed on the wall over there simply because the, the tubes are at a certain length and we're pushing the abilities of the filter uh, because the, the tubes are two and a half meters long and they're supposed to be a meter and 20 each. But uh, yeah, you can now see the fish are living in here and the, the waterfall is temporarily, we're still waiting for it to dry up here. Um, so that's why I have the fan just running running 24 seven. So there's a plenty of fresh air. Uh, still need to clean the glass, but um, yeah, it's just pushing water here at the moment. So we have water coming down there. But it's of course gonna be pushed up here so it's gonna fall all the way down. I'm gonna put something so you can't see all of this, so it's just gonna be blurry. But uh, yeah, I think it's super cool to have fish now swimming around. Uh, I really like it. Can't wait for maybe 100, 200 fish to be swimming all over the place in here. I've seen people online, it's it's capable of, it's, it's possible, but I just need to add them slowly and steady. But uh, look at those cute faces. Well, I didn't look at the camera. Look at that cute little face right there. Ayo, 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 ayo. I was just sat here relaxing when I spot a little shrimp. Yeah, boy. So I think there's around five of these. And the bigger they grow, the more orange they get. So um, this is not a fully adult one. Uh, the other ones are tiny babies, so they're pretty much all white. But uh, yeah, look at that. We have the shrimps in here. I'm just sitting here relaxing. I'm really just enjoying this. It's been a few hours since I've added the fish. They all seem very happy i like this there's like one that's red and the others are this yellow or there maybe there's two sometimes it pops around and comes around but uh yeah really enjoying just sitting here and relaxing um you know what i think i may just post this video here just to come with a few running updates is that the red one i feel like that's one that's a little bit more red but uh yeah there was someone who asked how loud this filter is uh, my plan okay so by the way my plan is this pipe is pretty much gonna be right there uh the tape up there is to add anti-escape prevention so the ants can't escape through the tape. Th 
through the pipe, that's what it's called. I may have lifesaving instead. Um, but um, you can now also see all of the plants and all of this looking nice. Here is the day when I was hydrating, right? The snake popped its head out right through, I think, that hole right there. And there was just a tiny little snake head, which was, uh, yeah, super cute. Brother, are you all right? Um, he doesn't seem all right. <laughs> He's like, bro, I don't want to be near that. I don't want to be near that. <laughs> oh, he keeps going. Oh, yeah. He's allergic to, to dust, I think. Um, but yeah, of course, the idea is to, yeah, I don't know if I mentioned that earlier, but cut the pipes that's up there. So we have a nice waterfall flowing down. It's going to look super sweet. I can't wait for it. Really enjoying the fish. I can't wait to get even more fish. Yeah, that's the red one right there. Um, but yeah, someone asked for the filter and uh, this is pretty much the sound mix. Uh, nothing. What you can hear most of the time is this running here. So if I just turn this off. Yeah, that's a bike outside. Bike is very loud outside. Now it's quiet. Now it's very quiet. So let's listen to the pump. That's all it makes. And it sucks in, I think it's 200 liters. It's meant for two to 300 liters setup, and this is actually only like 120, 30 ish. Um, and yeah, it has a very strong pipe. I'm not gonna show it now because it's it's sitting down there and uh, working. Um, <laughs> but yeah, once it's gonna flow down the waterfall, once it's all done, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna sit here and enjoy the fish a little bit more. Uh, really just catching my eyes. All right, future holographer just wanna show you the waterfall here. Uh, so this is how it looks. Um, did I buy black silicone? No, I bought see-through silicone. Why? Because I would cover it with dirt. Did all of the dirt just fall off when the water hit it? Yes. Did I wait a long time? Not long enough, or maybe it's because I didn't use cocoa fiber last time, like last time, but uh, yeah. There is now a running waterfall in the back, but uh, and we have some ants as well. Um, but yeah, that's uh, yeah back to past Tolliver where the waterfall isn't built. I just want to show it right here. And damn, that looks nice. But uh, yeah, guys, sorry I haven't really uploaded much ant content lately. Uh, there are so many projects I need to do. Still need to put my TV up, but this has been a high priority. And to be honest, I've just really had a lot of fun doing it. Um, I'm still doing my electrical videos. I. I, I like doing them. I, I want to get back to making ant videos, but right now I'm just, I'm just. Uh, there's a ton of things to do, and I really enjoy just making this by my, uh, not by myself. I've had a lot of help with it, but uh, I've just really had fun. Just not really doing much uh, recording, just having a lot of relaxing time, and I can't wait to get even more life in there. It's gonna be mega. And to come back to how the video started, because I completely forgot to talk about all of that. Um, I think my. Um, Nico Pobrintis may still be alive in here. I'm seeing too many workers for them not to be alive at least, but uh, yeah, the mannequin moved in here. Uh, and the way I did this in the end, I, I had to dig them up because the boxes were hitting the stones and the stones were falling off. It's a big disaster to be honest. Um, so I actually dug them out slowly but surely and, and found them and relocated them back in. Uh, the same with the Singularis and they moved in here and they actually moved over here. Uh, the queen did end up settling here, but a few hours later I saw her coming over here. So I think the singularis are living in these. Um, the venus is also living in these, and the manica are living in these. And I don't know if the nicoparensis are living here or where they are. I'm just seeing too many nicoparensis workers, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, right now it's oddly quiet. There's absolutely no ant movement, which is... Oh no, scratch that. We have a nicoparensis right there. But... Uh, Maybe there's even more life over here. Maybe it's just because I'm looking at the fish from an outside perspective that I'm not seeing it. No, that's just a slug. <laughs> but um, yeah, I've seen the Venus is already going around hunting some isopods up here. So they seems to be doing great. And uh, yeah, I'm sorry. That's just not really much to say right now. I'm just uh, relaxing a lot and just having fun with everything. I've really just enjoyed making all of this. Um, like I said, I would like to have like a hundred fish in here or something because uh, as, as long as they're small, we can have a lot of fish in here as far as I've understand, understood. But I need the ammonium levels to go up so the nitrate levels can go up so the nit 
other night something can come up and save the fish. Uh, pretty much it's a lot more complicated than I thought at first. But um, yeah, I'm really enjoying watching all of this. I, I've, I've always wanted to keep fish, but I've never wanted to keep fish. And this was the perfect excuse to keep fish. But with that all said, I just want to say thank you all very much for watching this video. And I'll catch you all in another video. Bye!